Hey, what's going on salty friends? So today I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to change out the roller bearing in your Stratic or Shimano Stratic CI4 Plus. Now this rolling roller bearing goes bad quite frequently, but I have to tell you if you're oiling this bearing, it actually can make it go bad even quicker. It even shows that in the schematics that uh, Shimano provides in your box, which is right in here. So take a look at that. Make sure you're not oiling this bearing, but I'm gonna show you how to replace it. It's very, very simple. Literally could do it in under, under two minutes. I'm also gonna upgrade the handle on the new Stratic. Something very pretty. Let's jump in. All right, so very simple technique, guys. It, once your roller bearing starts to go bad, if you're actually greasing this or oiling it, it could prevent or it could cause the um, bearing to actually go bad quicker because it removes some of the water repellent um, oils that's naturally added to it from the manufacturer. So to replace it, I went ahead and I got the new bearing off of eBay, and you'll see the new bearing here. It comes just like this. It's the it's a uh, RD17672 line roller and I think this fits from the 2500 up to the 4000 series you'll just want to confirm that uh, I'll leave the link down in the description so all you're going to need for this essential uh, swap is a nice flathead screwdriver here the key is to make sure that when you're swapping this out that you make sure that you get a screwdriver that is the proper size so that way you're not stripping this screw out now this is a longer screw. Obviously it's holding in your bearing, so it's gonna take a minute to unscrew it. And you wanna be careful when you're opening this up, there are some smaller parts and pieces that will fall off and you wanna make sure that they're in the right order. It's not ready yet. And just slowly pull this arm away. Wow, takes a minute. There she goes. All right, and you'll see this arm pops right up. You got to be careful. There's a little, there's little parts um, in both this bearing and right underneath of here that come out. And I'm going to show you those right now. So here's the bearing that we removed. You want to take note on how it's facing for when you want to go ahead and put it back in. So I'm going to lay this just like this, knowing that this side goes in to this first. All right, guys. So you'll see here. Um, this actually can come out completely and you'll see that there's a little gasket and also this little ring here. I personally don't remove those. You could take them out if you want. I just keep my finger on the back of it like you see there. And what I'm going to do is just quickly swap out this new bearing. All I do is slide the new bearing on here. Now you're going to notice this little black piece. You see how that fell out? That goes on this side here. See how that goes on? So you want to make sure that that doesn't fall out. And lastly, this arm swings back up. Align everything. And then what you want to do is just screw it back in. All right, so now I'm just screwing it back in. Now you can see that Shimano used some type of uh, Loctite or something in that nature. Uh, I imagine you could find out from the manufacturer what that is. I just kind of verify every once in a while that this is tight. You want to be careful because it can come loose. But you don't want to over tighten this, guys, when you put it back in. Uh, once you do install the screw again, it's good to just take your fingertip and make sure that that bearing is acting the way it's supposed to. And from what I could tell here, it is moving back and forth with ease and uh, it's ready to go. All right, so I also want to upgrade the handle, guys. I noticed that on this handle, there's some give right here. I like the, I also like the two-knob handle. This brings me back to the old school days when I used to have some freshwater uh, reels that had these two-knob handles. So I'm going to swap it out. All you got to do is uh, rotate it here clockwise, the handle. And this will allow you to loosen it to go ahead and replace it. This is called the Gomex or Go... What is it called? The Gomexis, Gomexis handle. What appealed to me about this, first off, it's, it's highly rated, but it also has the craftsmanship that they put in this is really, really nice, guys. The handles are super smooth. There's no wiggle. Uh, obviously, the, the red and uh, silver match perfectly with the Stratic CI4 Plus, or at least it's very close anyway. But this also is compatible with, I think, the, uh, for the 2500 up to the 4000. 
All you gotta do is literally put it in, turn counterclockwise until it's tight. And man, oh man, there she is. No play in the handle, super smooth bearings, and just aesthetically pleasing. I just want to note really quick guys, right here in the schematics it says do not spray oil in the line rollers and the space between um, the body and the rotor. There's special water repellent that coats, uh, that's coated certain parts of the reel to help prevent any type of uh, water damage and keep the salt out. So it does say that right in the instructions, there's schematics here, so take note of that and make sure you're not spraying WD-40 and oils inside of that bearing. All right, so that's a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. So that's how you change the roller bearing with under a minute, essentially. Really, probably a minute or two minutes max. Um, she's like new again, upgraded the handle. You see how sexy that looks. And obviously not just for cosmetic, but for functionality reasons, I went ahead and upgraded that. And uh, overall, guys, this is a great little reel, one of my favorites. Like I said, the Stratic reels are one of the best on the market. So just take care of them, grease them, oil them, make sure you're greasing them properly. It's going to last you a long time. Hey, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe. Until next time, I'll see you on the water.